hitting you. That's something real. That's, that, that might be a giant red. Oh my god. What the heck? All right, boys, we just pulled up to Port Fierce here. Back at it again, we got Dan. What's the verdict? There's no verdict. Uh, we got Ride Dog. Yo. And we got con bags back there. What's the deal? What is the deal? So we're doing a little team, a little friendly competition. Not very friendly, because we're, we're gonna smoke them. But uh, it's me, me and Ryan versus Connor and Dan, and we're fishing live scrimps. If you, take, nice if, if you here. take all of our shrimp, I will literally execute you. But there's so many in there. Yeah, you, you gotta put water in there, Ryan. Water. <laughs> this boy's on X game mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, here's the setup we got. Popping cork, the nice recreational oh, jig. Sure. Here. That's the move. And uh, we're just gonna be walking up and down the <laughs> flats with our waders on, trying to catch trout, redfish, flounder. If we do smoke them, we're doing a catch and cook, so I'm gonna whip the chest and I'll see you guys then. Why, did you already each catch one? Well, he already got a bunch of bait. Wow, look at all this bait. Dude, there's so many pildreds. You want to throw them in the cooler? Hold on. Yeah, I, yeah li I, literally, I, I didn't lock my bed. I just turned it. You could just open it and throw them in there. Hey, boys, before, before I could even get out of the truck, Oh, Ryan man. lays up on a nice trout. Wow, very Ryan uh, Or freaking Connor, sorry. The red goes. All the same person out here. Hey, throw him in the cooler. Yeah, yeah. Throw him in the angle. Throw him in the angle, Johnny. Yo. Yo, look at all these pildreds, dude. Pildreds. Did you grab some line to put on our fish? What? Yo, my shrimp's very dead ass. They give us a dead shrimp. Like Why are all of our shrimp dead ass? Yeah, I caught that nice in on that, that dead piece. You that did. Time. You did. So we got a popping cork. My 3000 sustain here with 20 pound braid. And uh, well, cast some rain shot. All we're doing is casting these popping corks as far as we can out yonder. Oh, Ryan's got him on. Got him on? Wow. The hairy settlement's ass. And nice trout? Oh, Very oh sure. Nice crevasse. Nice crevasse. Grant gonna film that one. Little embarrassing out here for rye dogs. Dan, we don't talk about it. Wow. That's on the And you're literally just popping these things and letting them sit, and then your bobber will go Joe down. Connor. Ryan, that's the bait of choice, bro. Look at Ryan. How do you feel about that? Shrimp, a little jig head, and then a popping cork. Did you get laid up on out yawns? So laid up. Oh, wow. Wow, feels very jackass if I had given a, an, oh, God, I'm wet. I'm getting wet here. Get that pop it out. Oh, I'm getting smoking wet. Wow. I don't know. My waders are freaking loose-esque. Wow, very, very recreational me here. Nice crevasse specimen. Get stuck, stuck. Dude, this tide is like ridiculously high. Yo, Connor's got him on. What is that? Very redfish esque. Is it? The boy, Connor, 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 Connor's on a tear. Connor's got a flounder. Yeah, yo, what do? I go, very not Jack esque. Smoked it? Let me see him. Hold on, I'm coming to his house. 
Wow. What a decent surprise. Wow. A nice flower dog. Dude, they're so hard to hold on to. Hey, it looks like you're holding on a paper plate <laughs> from over yawns. Not a doormat. Like Yo, I'm going to have to follow Connor for this video. I'm going to have to follow follow Connor. Can't seem to catch catch anything myself. You know what? I almost uh, like, I kind of find like that one right though. Really? Yeah. You guys were like, oh, so I just caught like really easy time to that. I was yeah, yeah. catfish yeah. and super hard with it. Yeah. That's sick. I'm pretty sure he's a keeper. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper. Okay. Yeah. Nice flound dog. Hey, can you hold this guy? That's gonna be a rough scene to measure that right here. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a keeper all day, Dan. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's fleeing. Don't let him get off. He's, he's fleeing the scenery. That dude, they're so sick. Oh yeah, he's a keeper all day. What are they gotta be, 18? No, I think 12. Oh. Dude, he's, free, he's a major yeah. keeper. He's like 17 yeah, inches. Right and that's a raggedy measurement. He's more than that too. Hold him up. Actually, Connor. <laughs> hey, let me get the stringer on him, and then just hold the stringer out. Unreal sightseeing, boys. Smoked you. Trout in the flounder, not bad. Not bad. I'm kind of nice jack in? piece, yeah. Is that a nice stick piece you attached there? No, oh, it comes on all of them. Talk about the hook set too. Yeah, wow. wow. You really laid Better into them. Better than him. mine. You really laid into them there. All right. Now hold them up. Oh my god. Get them secure here. Oh, we got stuff all over the place. Oh, wow. Connor, I'm going to cook that for you. Okay. <laughs> you got to invite dude, me to one of your so... famous cooking. That's what I'm saying, dude. You come over. Or whatever they're called. It's called a catch and cook butcher. Here. Wow. Very, rec very recreational here. Nice. nice. Let's keep laying up. Swords? Smoked it at the. That's the first flounder I've ever Really? You yeah. smoke it at I'm the. I'm not even wearing my flounder shirt today. What's the deal? What's the vertical? <laughs> you, you smoke it at the Groffs? Wow. Unreal. On, on the Shimano. On the popping cork. Okay. Back, back on the Grizz. Back on, back I'm, on the I'm full of high hopes right now. <laughs> Unreal. And I still got a bait out. He wow. Ate it, he ate it like five feet away from me. Very typical of trout fit or popping cork esque fishing. That's the nice thing about waiting is you like never, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't so spook. Right on top of you. Yeah. Did you cast over there? Oh wow. Nice. Big hole. We're really, we're really congregated covering all areas here, boys. I had to give an honest truth. See, Connor, I just want to know if he laid up on it or not. Huh? Did he lay up on it? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Very jack-esque, kind of trout-esque. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice trout piece. Hey, let's let the pause it here. We might get on a little trout bite. Yeah. Dan's got Dan laid up on a nice trout there. Oh, had him on. Lost, lost him at the house. It wasn't a bad one. That was a keeper, right? Wow, really? He was out to his house. Yeah, I, as soon as I saw the way I had him hooked, I was like, yeah. Chances that I actually catch Tip, this trout. Typical trout deal. I might have to sit here and give it a minute, boys. Surprise him not. Outside cast, Connor, you can get one. Alright. Surprise we didn't get bit, right, dog? Yeah, usually when you catch one, you catch more. Yeah. Remember that one day we caught like two that were over 20? Yeah. That giant pompano? Yeah. Dude, that the one bad. Ryan caught, I kid you not, was on a shrimp head. Yeah. It was, no, it was on a freaking shell, dude. It was yeah, a shell it was on the shrimp. Something very raggedy. That was a cool. That was a cool video. It was pretty fun. I've never seen Dan freak out so hard. Oh. Dan was grinding for that pompano bite. Yeah, yeah you, you knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, I willed that pompano bite to happen because you like You're like, ah, oh, you're not gonna catch pompano all day. Lo and behold, got it done. It was a small permit. It was a small permit. I see something. You, you're tight, Ryan. Something's swimming you off, buddy. Got him on. Oh, that was something very, very trout-esque. Shell piece coming back. That, that's your 25 inch right there. That was guaranteed. No, that was a very small way. Spindle beak bite, if you ask. Yeah, me. it really was. Oh, I got. Oh, oh, he got on the shell. On the shell, baby. That's a trout. Oh yeah, on I, got, shell. Smoked. I got smoked. I got smoked. 
Ryan literally just laid up on a shell. Can't even lie with you. <laughs> I got smoked, Dan. Oh! Wow. Well, didn't measure him because Ryan's raggedy. <laughs> I were, but if he's if he's close enough to measure, anyways, we don't want him. Here. That one kind of was kind of nice. That one I have is like 17 or 18. Yeah. For sure. I just got bit right here. How long are the shell piece? The shell piece really gets it done. Yeah, it really does. They really see it, and it's just a natural reaction. They go, wow, I see shells floating all the time like that. And I have to lay up. Real match the hatch situation. Very, very match the hatch esque. So, typically, what Dan's saying is when you catch one trout like that, Major there's usually X a lot. Wow, triple X factor. There's usually a lot more trout in the area. And I don't know if you guys watch our previous trout video, but I'll have that link popping up right here. Um, it, it was right when we got in a trout school, we all cast and would triple up. But today doesn't seem to be that way. We got two in one area. But it ain't, it ain't. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe, I'm, maybe I got false accusations here because Connor just missed one. Is that a spindle beak? <laughs> Very spindle beak esque. In the Yon's family. <laughs> Yo, did you bring your phone so you know what the verdict is for time? Time, yeah, I did. You might just have to call Taylor and say we're on a hot trap. <laughs> call I might text her and see if I can come in at five. Yeah, yeah that might be the deal. <laughs> say, say Young Manoose will bring you free snapper, which is a false accusation. Well, you we got a whole flounder. I got I'm just going to say, hey, I had an errand to run to Fort Pierce this morning. It's taking longer than I thought. Hey, I had an errand to run. They're biting. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh my god, did you see that dude? I let it lay up for too long. I, I think I did, but my, my friggin' popping cork fled the scenery. It, it was down yonder. Yo, I don't know why we're moving. We're getting trout bites right here. Yo, I got friggin', I got Nipsey smoked. I, when I went to real though, it wasn't there. You got the Nipsey, the what? Nipsey hus, <laughs> Nipsey smoke. <laughs> wow, whoa, whoa. The party fouls are unreal. Wow. <laughs> the party fouls. It doesn't even close the... Dude, what's the point? You act like they're going to jump out. They do. <laughs> as they as they just did. <laughs> Listen, these shrimp are in the settlements. Oh, they're from the settlements, cut. All right, I just missed one. Cast another bait out back yonder sphere. See, see if I can get them to lay up on the yons. And by yons, I mean out far. Honor, really looking cute over there in that moving white chair. You know me. I know you. <laughs> Every bite we're gonna get redfish? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, a nice jack piece by uh, D. Spoles there. Hitting you. That's not worth it. That, that might be a giant red. Oh my god. What the heck? No, that's something really big, bro. Really big. I, oh my god. That might be a big permit. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, you're gonna get spooled. No, no, I got a lot of I just re-spooled this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that ain't a bonefish, dude. It's either a jack or a red, because I still it's got major head shape. Yeah, I think it's a big red, dude. It's gotta be a big red. I would. Well, it could also be a big jack. Like, it, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I don't know though, dude. I don't know. He smoked it. I mean, dude, if it's a jack. It's gonna Did you see that jack. hook set lay though, dude? dude that was crazy. central. That was Usually, I feel like jacks won't run that far though. No, they don't. That thing, that, that that run thing took off. Now. Yeah, he took off. Oh my god. Snuck, but he would have jumped on No, it ain't a snuck. No, no, no. Or it could be a huge black drum. Yeah. Whatever it is got steady. Dude, I don't know because jacks have like more sporadic head shakes and this one's just like slow. Steady, yeah. Might be right. I, so I would freak out. That would make I don't know how we'd land. <laughs> we just have to eat it. I would put it I'd be, put it in my waiter. Really good. Oh, I smoked yeah. it. It ain't going nowhere. I laid into him so heavily, you have no idea. Yeah, okay, when he gets close, take my rod and I'm gonna okay. 
be the support crew. Here. That was crazy. He ran far. Oh my. Yeah, that was. It's wild. either a big jack or redfish. There's nothing, nothing else it could be. I don't know. Do big jacks like big hardtails? Yeah, it could be. A, it could be a big crevasse. Yeah, I'll, yeah, for sure. Very jackass. Wow, Dude, I don't know though. It's on the bottom, picking up seaweed. Very jack. That kind of has me a little bit sus. Could be a uh, nice big jack. crevasse. Big jack. Yeah. Nice crevasse. In there. Wow, oh. that is the biggest crevasse. Tell me it didn't look permit esque. It did look a little. For just a moment. For just here. Nice crevasse. Mm. Wow, it's going right into my. Oh. Don't get here, get lost in there. Can you grab my rod? Very, very sad sightseeing there. Dan, you want to hold up, hold up my jack? It's the biggest jack I've ever seen on the flat. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I think you lost your J-head on that one. No, 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 no. What's the vertical? I see it. Oh, wow. Watch out for those teeth. Yeah, you deal with them. I gotta get back to fishing. <laughs> What's the verdict? Neil, Connor, yeah. stick your hand in there. I have his teeth open. Or his no, mouth. no, I'm not doing that. You're crazy. Here, you hold his mouth. I got it. Yeah, I stuck him. Yeah. Oh! You all right? Good. Yeah, I'm straight. He just really smoked me there. <laughs> Give me my hook, you piece of crap. It's 2.30, so let's go to that, uh, ah. that outflow, and then we'll start ah. waiting back. Okay. Ah, there she is. See a crevasse. See a crevasse specimen. Ow, dude, I think bit the Jimmy Christmas out of me. Do you see that, Connor? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Could you imagine if that was a big friggin' redfish? That would be insane. It would be a big one. All right, guys, I haven't had anyone to film me fillet today, and I finally get home. I get the opportunity to fillet, and I'm just like, screw it, I'm just gonna set the GoPro up, do it myself, and it starts raining. Very, very typical, atypical uh, Jupiter here. We got our beautiful trout piece here, boys. I'm trout, and this is a flounder. Um, we're doing flounder versus trout today, and so I've never filleted a flounder before, I don't think. I'm just gonna start right behind this. I'm gonna do like a tuna. Start right behind his head there, go all the way back down to it in halves. And just lay him out just like you would a black and yellowfin tuna. Bluefin. Whatever the specimen of the tuna might be. Never caught a bluefin, so I didn't say it. Uh, I'm really just winging this, boys. Cannot, cannot lie with y'all. I know they taste delicious. I've eaten flounder. Flounder. I've eaten flounder. I think I met, might have played one when I was in Munson. Okay. They have a super thin, like, rib cage. Like their bones are just thin, and I'm, I'm cutting through them here. There we go. I'm kind of just looking with what I have and working around it. Like, I don't know how much explaining I can do here. I've never done this, so I don't have any tips to give other than that. Other than, it's really just a full send type of scenario. Oh, look at that, young Manus. You know they call me Young Canoes. Can't complain there. Nice flounder fillet. All right, I'm gonna skin that later. Show you guys there, didn't miss any meat. We're gonna do the same thing on both other sides. I'm gonna flay the trout for you. That's, that's super simple. Trout's like any other fish, really. Um, literally make that first cut behind its head. Follow all the way up its dorsal fins. I got spine. I got spine, Johnny. Trout's really delicate meat. It's good. I like it. It's not a lot of people like to eat trout. The only thing about trout is they do have worms. You see, we got worms right here, right here, 
They don't bother you one bit. You don't taste the worms. They die or they, you, you can't even see them once you cook it. I, I promise you. That's the only people, the reason people shy away from trout. Other than that, nothing wrong with them. But I've been eating trout my whole life and I'm still here. There is some things wrong with me though, so I don't know if you shoot a trout. Okay, cut that uh, pin bone out. Cut the extra page. Okay, that's our beautiful trout fillet. That's what we got from the trout. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skin the flounder and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Wow, flounder, very delicate meat here. Should have went with the Dan Woolley recipe and cooked her whole. Dan caught a giant last time when waiting and cooked it whole. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, boys, it looked very lights out. And that's our beautiful flounder. All right, it's raining, it's pouring, Johnson's snoring, but here's what we got. Flounders, Jay, in BBC turtles. Now we got flounders and trouts. Gee, let's uh see in the kitchen where we're preparing this, John. All right, guys, we just got into the kitchen here, and I'm not saying we're gonna rush this dinner, but I'm taking a time math quiz right now, and my mom's got a Zoom call for work in about what, mom? Like 20 minutes? 10 minutes. So we got that's. Definitely the trout and that's definitely the flounder. They look absolutely delicious. But before we get into the cooking portion of this video, if you guys haven't already copped a move away hat, please, please link below and will be a link popping right here to our Shopify website to the moveandweightfishingwebsite.com. Please support the channel if you haven't bought a hat. And if you have, drop a comment below. I'd love to reach out to you and thank you for buying hats. It means a lot. New hat. Look at this. We got the new, hold on, lighting. Oh. Look at that hat, baby. Move and weight. Look at that, the heather gray, oh my God. And look at this, it got, it's got the snapback. So you can adjust it to your head so it fits anyone. And it's the Richardson's, the nicest hats in the world. Like, look at that hat. You like it, mom? Love it. Love Please it. buy one. I'm a gray girl. You're gray and white. Yeah, gray. Okay. Gray's the move. So I'm gonna let Mama Malouse take over in the kitchen. Let's do it real quick, boy. Take what do we got? A little olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. And then little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. Wait, hold on, man. hold on. Johnson, you look upset back there. I do. Is it because you're not, you're not, everyone's asking about you. Are they really? <laughs> Everybody's like, where's Johnson? Little oregano. That's pepper, man. And pepper, well, you put that on Johnson. Okay, I do need white wine, do we have that? In the outside refrigerator. Go. Same thing as last week's clean cook. I'm literally, I have a math test and it's time for two hours. So. All right. Hey, drop a comment if you think I should drop out of school. No. My just kidding, goodness. I'm just kidding. Don't say that, you have young kids. I want one more, oh, yeah, yeah, no, school stay in school. Education yeah, anymore. stay in school. Okay, look. All right, we have some yellow pepper, onion, red pepper, and diced tomatoes, which I'm just going wow. to kind of just mix and pour all over this Lights fish. Out. That looks unreal, now. I probably put a little bit too much. Nah, you can never have too much. Okay. And then we're gonna top it with some lemon slices and just let it bake and steam. That looks unreal. Put it in the oven uh, on 350 for about 25 minutes. Yeah. And also, Mama Manu whipped up some nice, fresh, homemade potatoes, and then she's also cooking up some asparagus. But, I would love to show you that, but I literally am gonna fail my math okay. test. So I'm just gonna show you the final product. Thank you. Hey, what are we putting in that? 350. 350 25 for 25 minutes. minutes. All right, we'll check on it, and then we will see you guys then. Alrighty, boys. Dinner just got done, and it looks delicious. We got sand peered, sand peered. Let's start all over. No, pan seared asparagus. I said sand peered. That's what happens when I take a math quiz for two hours. Sand peered. I got pan, 
pan seared asparagus. And we got the unreal petite potatoes and then we got the fish. Um, I know for a fact this is trout, just the way it's like flaking. I've eaten a lot of trout. I haven't eaten flounder in a while. I can tell this is the flounder just because it's a thinner fish. Try with a nice piece of tomato on there. I haven't had flounder in a long time. Mm. Wow, hold on. Hold your horses, boys. Mm. That's so good. Come on, let me try the trout. Dad, be quiet. Okay. You want my honest opinion, Johnson? My honest opinion. I cannot tell the difference between either fish. They're such a flaky and mild fish. If I didn't know what they looked like, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference one bit. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with cooking these fish. You just want to do it like you want whatever seasoning you want to do is light because they're extremely mild and you can over season. That's why we just did tomatoes and lemon and stuff. We really didn't put any like regular seasoning on them. Um, try these asparagus for the boys here. Hmm. Hmm. Those are lights out. Let me try. Wow, nice crispy potato. That's money. Johnson, show your plate. Let's see if you liked it. That's right. So Johnson obviously loved it. You know what we haven't done on the channel? I'll just give Bandit a nice compliment. Dang it. Hey. Ready? Hey. Sit. Sit. Give me a high five. Oh. Sit. Here you go, buddy. What do you think? No, I, don't, I don't think he likes it. Mom, I appreciate you making dinner. Do you like the hat? Be honest. Wow. Part of the gang now. In the real. Johnson, you want a hat? Uh, I've been asking for a hat for weeks. $25. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to go ahead and smoke the rest of my dinner. Once again, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys. Each and every one of you that like, comment, subscribe, DM me, tell like like a lot of you guys will like message me, tell me I've inspired you guys to go fishing, like do catching cooks, and that's awesome. Like I love hearing that stuff. So like when you message me and say that, I love it. Also drop a drop a follow on my Instagram, shoot me a DM, just say what's up. Adam Um, that's all we got for you. Till next video, baby, mom.